So if you've been a Roblox veteran, you've probably witnessed your favorite games being remastered. Or if you're not a Roblox veteran, you've probably never heard of these games because they get little to no players. Either way, some Roblox remasters are fairly solid, such as Zeppelin Wars, which is a game that still manages to maintain a strong player base, or Zombie Tower Remastered, although the game's development choices were extremely questionable. But what catches my attention, and it's been bothering me for a while now, is the game Contamination by Coder Clarity, a 2008 zombie story type game heavily inspired by Left 4 Dead. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with the lost subgenre of Roblox games known as the zombie story game, consider checking out my video. But anyhow, you can probably guess what a zombie story game is anyways. It's literally in the name. Anyways, Contamination was one of the first major Left 4 Dead clones on Roblox, in which a massive wave of similar games would spawn in its footsteps. Now, Contamination is a very, very solid game. It's a very punishing game. Not only is respawning disabled, but Roblox's updates throughout the years had degraded the game into a broken state. Which adds to the difficulty, actually. Gun physics are extremely outdated and more likely to miss. Zombie and player collision is scuffed, and some zombies can just unfairly kill you on the spot because their scripting is so ratchet by today's standards. So, with all this considered, Contamination should be well done for a remaster, right? And yeah, you're right, in fact, it's gotten like an unfathomable amount of remasters and remakes, and none of them have successfully captured lightning in a bottle like the original has. Alright, so what's wrong with these remakes? Didn't you just say the original isn't that good anyways? Well, in modern day, the game is extremely dated. If you look past the outdated scripting that's been broken by Roblox updates, the game suffers from slow pacing and poor weapon balancing anyways. Like, a person with a sterling SMG can single-handedly win the game by themselves, but the people with the pistols, they don't really stand a chance alone. Especially the medic. Oh, and did I mention the game has a melee class as well? But there's no invincibility frames, the zombies are faster than you, and most of the weapons have piss poor range. You are literally going to die. Back in 2009, stuff like this was normal to see. It didn't matter if a game was shitty, it just had to be cool. I mean, arguably, still the same way today, but in a different way, you know? Games were made by kids for kids. Because believe it or not, there was a time in Roblox history where monetization didn't dictate what kind of games people made. I know, it's hard to believe, am I right? Contamination was able to ignite an entire plethora of games of its kind. It was literally capturing lightning in a bottle. Truly a product of its time. You can go back and play Contamination today, but it isn't going to have that same feel. The ugly truth here, that a lot of old Roblox veterans refuse to believe, is that old games just do not stack up to the quality of games these days. The best way to enjoy Contamination in modern day is just to tell yourself beforehand, okay, this game was made 13 years ago, it's probably going to be really buggy and dated. Alright, so let's fast forward to modern day, where there's a ton of Contamination remasters, remakes, and reimaginings, all of which barely get any players. But why? Well, let's look back at these two games, Zombie Stories and Left to Die. You may have heard of them. Zombie Stories and Left to Die are both games that are rather similar, being both individual takes on the Left 4 Dead campaign style of a game. Although one takes significantly more resources to run than the other one. Oh wait, now it has mobile support, never mind. Anyhow, both of these games have their own original stories, as well as a classic remaster of Contamination thrown in here. The original stories are also good, or decent, and the remasters of Contamination are disappointing by comparison. I mean, I thought Contamination was hot shit back in the day. Why is it shitty now? Well, it's the same map, near same sequence of events, same everything. Yes, the guns and the zombies are different and stuff, like it's all modernized and all that, but this clashes heavily with the outdated aesthetic. One could say that it's trying to be nostalgic or honor the old game, but for who exactly? The chance that somebody played the original and played your version of Contamination is next to zero. And by the way, I'm one of them and I don't even like it that much. I wish that the remasters and remakes of Contamination actually bothered changing the map or getting rid of these stupid jarring pauses that destroy the pacing of the game. I mean, it's not like these games are going to reinvent the wheel or anything. I'm not really sure how you could do that anyways, given it's a fucking Roblox game. But I just wish that somebody could just simply give the game a proper remake. I mean, come on, Left to Die seems to have so much potential. And Zombie Stories is also fun as well. But the sheer amount of contamination remasters that just don't deliver is getting a little annoying. Also, apparently the creator of Zombie Tower Remastered wanted to remake Contamination again. Which, I honestly, I feel like he's the only guy who has a half decent shot of doing it the right way. Actually, now that I mention it, the Zombie Tower remake is kind of one of the reasons why I felt inspired to make this video. It's a remake of a game that was able to actually emulate the feeling I felt when I played the game back then. Actually, I felt more attached to the remaster than the original because admittedly I didn't beat the original game 10 years ago. It's through the use of music, weapons, zombies, and difficulty that for some reason keeps me and a bunch of other people addicted to this game. Like seriously, these reload animations are incredibly good, even if they are just kind of ripped straight from Black Ops 2. 
Zombie Tower is literally Zombie Tower. It's the same game over and over again, and yet somehow the game was able to make itself to a point that people would find themselves grinding on it over and over again. Too bad it gets no players though. These contamination remakes are just trying to give some nostalgia to a generation of players that just don't care. Like, yeah, contamination was good back in the day, like I said, but nowadays some people just want a good game today, if you can get what I mean. But I think that there comes a simple reason why contamination might be shoehorned into these two games. They didn't have to waste time designing a new map. Okay, anyways, Left to Die is a good game. So is Zombie Stores, I guess. Also, go check out Zombie Tower Remastered, because I really want that game to have more support behind it, so that the creator will update it again. And of course, check out Contamination, but, but be prepared to probably feel really bored. And also die a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching. Join my Discord, like the video, and of course, subscribe if you liked it. If you have any thoughts on Contamination or its many remasters, I'd love to hear it. I'll, I'll be sure to see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.